Man, I haven't bought fragrance in ages. You know, I'm good. Have a look at some of the new releases. I wonder if there's a new Kubos flank or maybe a Kubos Puff Bam that's actually done right. Let's have a look. YSL new releases. Let's have a look. Okay. Another one? <laughs> Another one? I, I can't, words cannot even fathom. I can't even, words cannot describe. So, I'm just going to pull a really fucked up face. Okay, here it comes. One, two, three. Hey guys, Lex here with another fragrance review. So this one is one well, of the mystery scents as I've done at the end of each queue. This is Paul Monsieur Concentré by Chanel. And as you can see, this is the Eau de Toilette Concentré version. Sorry, I mean Eau de Parfum, apparently. So this was released in 1989. It's a highly concentrated version of the original Paul Monsieur, which I believe came out in the 60s. I believe. I haven't quickly looked at it, but... I think that's when it came out, I think, okay, I'm, I'm not sure that's the only one I've owned, but... So let's get a, a good look at the bottle here, let me adjust the camera. Also move my microphone off to the side to make it easier for this part of the review. So that's Chanel there, and very clearly, Eau de Parf, I mean Eau de Toilette Concentré, Pour Monsieur, Chanel logo on the top, and of course ingrained shit into the glass that you can never see, because that's Chanel. There's some stuff in the back there, which is kind of difficult to see. <laughs> I'm going to show you. It's sh it basically says just Janelle Paris, Paul Monsieur, blah blah, made in France. You see there? Yeah. So not bad, really nice. So let's get started. How does this one spray? Does it spray okay? Let's have a look at the sprayer. Lovely sprayer, big whoosh. It's like a, a bogart of a creed sprayer. This one is in ocean. Really good. So my new trend, I'm going to start by talking about the notes, just so you guys get a better idea if I, because you know I suck my notes. So for the, you, those of you that are good at notes, this will help you a bit more. So, Poma So Concentrate by Chanel, this is from Fragrantica, as my source. As an oriental spicy fragrance for men, Poma So Concentrate is launched in 1989. And those Agnes fragrances Jack Paul's top notes are Petite Grain, Lavender, Mandarin Orange, Middle Notes are Nutmeg, Cardamom, Hey Mom, Base Notes are Opaponax, whatever the fuck that is, vanilla, oak moss, and vetiver. Yeah. So that's sort of why I started to start reading off the notes. Because I mean, I start with them. I can't exactly go and go, oh, that's very Opaponax heavy, you know? <laughs> I wish I could, but I didn't go to college to study, so. <laughs> so the smell is really nice. Um, compared to the original, it has the, the scent of the original in there. I mean, it, it does smell like it's definitely in there. But it's like an amen flanker almost the way they've done it. The original's in there, but it's it's been taken over by um, the last the last notes here. The vanilla oak moss and vetiver. The vanilla is damn nice in this. The vanilla is really good when it dries down. That vanilla comes out and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, to the point where it's almost kind of difficult to, to um, compare it with the original when the vanilla comes out. The dry down is my favourite part of this. It's absolutely gorgeous, but the opening is still great. You know, it's fresh. It's got old school citrus vibe that the original had. But it's got more going on, you know? It's just more interesting and also the performance is better. Now let's talk about that, the performance. How does this one perform? On me, with my original bottle, not the Eau de Parfum bullshit, which is just the same fucking thing with a higher price tag, but anyway, enough of my rant. <laughs> this one is about 10 hours plus longevity. This uh, Longevity is really good, 10 to 12 plus uh, most of the time on me. Projection, this one I get about maybe four to six hours of fairly moderate to high projection. This one is a sort of sneaky one, I think. Hey, it's not that strong, but, you know, someone else will smell it and go, oh, what's that? Mainly my mother. She always smells my bitch. Oh, what's that you're wearing? Oh, yeah, I haven't remembered that one before. And it's like four hours after I've applied it. I've came in 
from being out in the town or something and she's like oh what's that and I'm like oh never knew it was still going so four to six hours projection now let's talk about how many sprays with this one I'm going to recommend around four sprays I have got a mint in my mouth it's not me being unprofessional or something it just helps with my throat and stuff I've got a really bad throat it's been like this for years and it's just getting worse I don't know why but anyway how many sprays? I'd say about four sprays should do fine with this one. Um, obviously, adjust for the setting, adjust for the weather and such, but around four should be fine. Maybe push it up to five if you are struggling with performance. Now, age group with this one. Age group, I'm going to say this is for 30 to 35 and up. Um, really, I say 30 to 35 because it really isn't that old. is isn't that old, especially the vanilla part, you know? It's really kind of nice, but it's entirely up to you. Recommendation 30 to 35. If you really want to play it safe, obviously 35. But that's just a recommendation. If you're 16 and you love it and you don't really give a fuck what anyone thinks, hell, you go and wave it. You're a bigger man than me. Um, <laughs> I didn't wear cologne at 16. Um, so, uh, moving on. So, we've covered spray, we've covered age group. And season wise, yes. Season wise, where to wear this one? I was thinking of something else there. <laughs> um, season wise, Spring, summer, autumn and winter. Now, spring, this is perfect. This is excellent for spring, excellent for autumn and winter. But, like I mentioned, with Habit Rouge or the Parfum, because it's a concentrate, because it's a little heavier, it loses a lot of these scents, these concentrate versions. Even though they're stronger, they lose their versatility a little bit. Habit Rouge is another one. It has more going on. But see, because it has more going on, it's thicker and heavier. You cannot wear it in hotter weather. That's the sacrifice you have to make. Uh, but this one, pretty much everything except summer. But I do recommend it mostly for a cold spring day. This is a lovely, lovely scent for winter and, and, and spring. This is really, really nice. You know, sitting around the fire with a scotch. And you get whiffs of this. It's really, really nice and rich. This is what Chanel... These Just to clarify, it's fragrances like these is what Chanel is about. This is what I think of when I think of Chanel. Pure fucking quality. Class. Elegance. That's not fucking Blue de Chanel. Yeah. This is what Chanel's about. This is proper Chanel. Don't waste your money on any other crap they seem to fucking love punting out. Hey, hey, have this, have that. Ah, fuck off. Anyway. <laughs> Situation-wise, where can you wear this? Can you wear this to work? Yes. Like I said, it's strong, but it's not going to overpower anything. So you can wear this to work. I think this would be really nice with a suit if you're in an office and you get a white formal shirt and a tie. Great. Moving on, for a date, can you wear this on a date? Yes, even though it's not 1989, this pretty much could be worn to date as a date. It um, is a really nice scent. The vanilla part that comes in smells really pleasing and it sort of adds a bit more versatility because that vanilla is, is nice. It's not old manny, that vanilla. It's quite nice, but I mean, it's entirely up to you. If you're dating someone, like I said, who's a fucking Neanderthal and only likes guys who wear yolp, or dupe as they call it, dicks, um, don't don't go with this one. In fact, don't even date that person, okay? But um, it's entirely up to you. But I think this can be warm. He's on a date. Depends on you. <coughs> Pardon me. Clubbing. Not so much. Um, if you want to go with clubbing nowadays, I would recommend more um, Sport Chanel Allure. Allure on Sport or Extreme Blue de Chanel, something like that. But you can still wear this if you're going to like a high-end venue. A sort of nice club with a dress code, like the sort of club you dress up to, like James Bond or something like that. If those even still exist, I don't know. I'm a fucking hermit these days. Don't listen to me. I'm a dick. But <laughs> but yeah, if you're at somewhere like that, sort of lounge bar, something that's quite upmarket, yes, yeah, would work fine for pulling. Um, so <laughs> success in a bottle. Um, so yeah, now casual wear. Can you wear this casually? Now, I would like to say you can wear this casually. I think. You maybe could, if it was really smart casuals, and you've got your Italian leather jacket, your Yves Saint Laurent shirt, your Armani jeans, and your, you know, Italian leather boots, maybe, yeah. But I don't really see it working too well. It has got a really classy, sophisticated vibe. It's very rich. It's very luxurious smelling. I really can't see it in, in much other than smart, smart clothing, you know. Or reasonably smart, even jeans and a nice shirt, you know. But yeah, it could work, but it's entirely up to you. But I don't recommend it too much. But you probably could make it work if you just watch what you're wearing it with. So moving on, that was awkward as fuck, that description, Jesus. <laughs> so moving on to formal wear. 
you've got a wedding, a special event, an anniversary, something where you're dressing up. This is perfect for that. This complements his suit perfectly. Fantastic. This is the real deal. The real McCoy. The fucking dog's bollocks. This is the what Chanel is. When I think of Chanel, this is what I think of. Quality stuff. Not modernized bullshit that doesn't last. This is what Chanel is all about. See it right there? Eau de, Eau de, Eau de Toilette Concentre Chanel. Pomisseur. This is what the fucking brand stands for. I need to start doing this shit more often. So yeah, formal wear, excellent for a suit. If I was getting married and asked someone to be my best man and they turned up wearing this, I knew if they wore this that moment I'd be like, yeah, that was the right choice. The fact that he, he knew to wear that, he's the guy. <laughs> you know, yeah. Really, really nice scent. Um, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourites. You can see I'm sort of sparing with it, especially after the whole rebranding it thing. I just don't like it. When I've got a good scent, I just don't like taking the risk that they'll fuck it up. So, Chanel aren't too bad with these formulations. To be fair, Chanel aren't too bad, but this is a really nice scent. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments. Send me a YouTube message. If you don't have a Google Plus account, not only am I jealous of you, but you can send me a message on Facebook and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, guys, thank you for watching and keep on smelling fly.